Today's Bible study is titled, There I Go, Turn the Page. Often, the answer to understanding what God is really saying in His Word lies in a willingness to diligently keep searching. We should do this knowing that, for one who is a believer, God's Word should make sense, and if it doesn't, that one is not looking at it right. For instance, if you just read the following scripture, you see it begins with, And we beseech you. So here Paul is instructing believers, but by itself these instructions sound like a do list. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men, see that none render evil for evil unto any man. But ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men, rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Quench not the spirit, despise not prophesyings, prove all things. Hold fast that which is good, abstain from all appearance of evil. 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 14 to 22. Certainly, Paul is instructing some things to be done and or or not done by believers, but let's be diligent and look a little more closely at the entire context. By themselves, these verses could be interpreted in such way that the accomplishment of these things somehow depends on the believer. This would be a very troubling interpretation as, if we are honest with ourselves, we know for a fact that we cannot really do any of this on our own. And here is what appears to be a conundrum, for believers often study or read to this point or are directed by their teachers or preachers of the word to this point and do not go any further for context. In the instance of this scripture, as is most often the case, it would really be sad for the believer to go no further and miss completing the context of these verses, for you would miss the whole point of what the apostle was instructed of the Lord to write. In fact, it is only when the believer reads or studies further that the conclusion of this instruction is found, namely, Faithful is he that calleth you, who also will do it. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 24 Thus, by simply reading further, we find that these instructions don't depend on us at all, other than to be believe and rest in the truth. And that truth is, yes, the one who has called us to these is faithful, and yes, it is he who has or will surely accomplish the doing. What is demonstrated by this search for context is that often the understanding of the word of truth comes down to the willingness of the believer too, as the old Bob Seeger song goes, There I go, turn the page. Believer be like the Bereans of Acts 17 verse 11, who received the word with all readiness of mind, but did not stop there, for they searched the scriptures daily, whether those things were so. Also, be as Paul instructed Timothy in study to shew thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, to Timothy 2 verse 15, for as you diligently and rightly divide the word, you will come to the right understanding. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.